running fast, but we were getting the job done. I do have to thank a lot of people that does really help us a lot. Dick and Rob Bonafonte from Bonafonte Friction. Lenko, Joe Costello. We got his decal on the car this year. Uh, it must be a good sign. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And a win light also for Dwayne Shields. He and that peak antifreeze team led by Dana Hopewell have scored an early season, Wally. He was late standing on the gas. You see McPhillips was in deep at the top half out. He was out in front for a long time, but 5.33 seconds, and Dwayne Shields runs him down. First time since the U.S. Nationals in 2012, Dwayne Shields will be in the winner's circle. That's why they're celebrating, because it's been so long, actually, since they've made it anywhere near the winner's circle. Well, and that's Dwayne Shields out of the number four qualifying spot. We heard from Dan Pomponi, the alcohol funny car winner a moment ago. He came out of the number eight spot, never made a run in the 550s. Bottom line, both of these drivers today in the alcohol Wally winners didn't beat themselves. And Dwayne Shields collecting that Wally year first since 2012. Can you even put this into words? You know what? I really can't. I have to thank Dana Hopewell who's worked tirelessly on getting this car back together. And I also want to dedicate the trophy. Bill Jones, who's uh, stepping back a little on the team. He's been with me from day one. He's still gonna come out, but he's trying not to be as active. It's hurting him not to do all the work on the car and stuff. But you know what? It's a teamwork. And it's all about having the team. And so when you look at Cheryl, who helps get everything taken care of for us, you got Jason, who's our new guy, who's doing a phenomenal job. You got you have got uh, Josh Green, my new guy. He's he's doing great. And then I've got Larry. I mean, you know, I've got an awesome team, and that's really what it comes down to. I've got great partners. When you look at, you know, Peak Antifreeze, maybe that's helping this thing run better this year. I don't know what it is with this thing. But uh, NGK and GRP, you know, it seems like we're back running decent and running good. I saw a lot of Rich. He had a great run. So, uh, you know what? We're going to take this and just save her and hopefully just keep rolling this year. Thanks. It's a great race. You tied Tom Conway on the all-time win list, by the way. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Nice job by Dwayne Shields and that entire team. And that will bring us to comp. Last but not least, here they come. It's Steve Ambrose and Pat Ross. a former U.S. Nationals champion, but it has been a long time since he's been in the winner's circle. That six-cylinder loud lasted everybody here in Gainesville. Now, it's the third time he's won the Gator Nationals. The last time was way back in 1996. First win since 2000, and that was the U.S. Nationals. Pat Ross gave it a ride. Just came up a little short. And with that, the Gator Nationals comes to a close, but not without a tip of the cap from the stat guy. That's right, Chris Holbrook in stock and super stock with a Ford Mustang. He made the quickest run ever in stock, 8.519 seconds. That was in the new factory stock class. His super stock car ran 790. Those wow. Mustangs, man, they rock in stock and super stock now. Boy, when we rolled into Gainesville, it was cool, it was crisp, and that's how you get record runs. But when it's all said and done, it's about the gold man at the end of the day. Dan Pomponio, back to back at the Gator Nationals. And how about Dwayne Shields for the first time in a long time? The SummitRacing.com Nationals, Las Vegas, tonight at 8 on ESPN. And that's where we're at the next time you see us on the Lucas Oil Drag Racing Series. For everybody on our crew, so long.